Hello creatures, my name's Chloe. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which I'm filming this video. I would also like to acknowledge elders both past and present. Today I'm filming the Build a Book tag. The original video was made by Literary Diversions, which I'll link down below. With this tag, you try and build your ideal book by supplying your answers to the questions and then gradually the picture of the book will appear. So let's get right into it. The first prompt is genre. Recommend a book that reflects your ideal novel's genre and mood. So I would say I'm going to go with The Darker Shade of Magic on this. It's more that my ideal book is probably a combination, but I really like the atmosphere that V.E. Schwab captures in this one. And I really like the feel of Red London. I love books where you can feel like the city is a character and this definitely qualifies. The second prompt is main character. If you could pull a main character from any book on your shelves to read another novel about, who would it be? This has to be a girl from my my most recent read, a well, most recently read series, and that is Mary Jekyll from The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. I loved Mary. She's really sensible and level-headed, but also very real to me. I related to her a lot, which is a big part of why I enjoyed this series, I think. So I'd love to read another novel about her. Supporting character. Who would be your main character's sidekick? <sighs> Again, this is a recent reread, sort of, but Jamie Watson from The Study in Charlotte series by Brittany Cavallaro. I just really love Jamie and I think it would be really interesting seeing him and Mary in the same setting. I don't know if their characters would be too similar or too different, to be honest. I think it'd be really interesting to see. And I really like secondary masculine characters particularly who are, like, they're very gentle and well-meaning, but they've got a, a little kernel of darkness, sort of. Like, not in a violent, horrible way, just a, I'm desperately trying to be a good person, but sometimes it's really hard. I really like that in characters, so I think Jamie would be a good one for this. Trope. What trope can you not get enough of? Recommend a book that features this trope. So, I really have a couple, but I, pr I really like them combined sort of combined and it's like little angry one big sort of happy happier one like not necessarily happy happy but a big one who's got a sort of a tall person who's got sort of a better outlook on life and then you've got the tiny vitriolic angry one I probably like this because this is basically my dynamic with my boyfriend but I really love that and then especially when you combine that with say enemies to lovers very here for it the book I'm choosing for this doesn't actually represent the enemies to lovers part and it only shows the small, angry one, larger, happy one trope at the very end. So I can't explain it properly because it'll be spoilers, but The Blood of Olympus by Rick Rawdon, it has one of my favourite couples for this trope and it works really well. Just trust me. Number six is relationships. What kind of relationship is important in your book? Provide a bookish example of this kind of relationship. So the thing that I really like in books is kind of this, inex you're, you're completely inextricably entwined with this person and you sort of keep getting dragged back together and you're yearning for each other but there's just something in the way that's stopping you. So for this one I had to go with The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This probably also would have worked well with genre or mood but the relationship that's at the core of this I think is utterly fantastic. There's also a secondary romantic relationship in this that's a lot more subtle, but both of them work for me. I really love both of them, but it's that yearning feeling that I really like. Oh, I missed one. I'll do it now. Plot twist. Which book has your favourite plot twist? And then there were none by Agatha Christie. Just read it. It's my favourite one of her mysteries. It's it's a lot. I've read this multiple times, but I read it far enough apart that I couldn't remember who'd actually done it the second time around. It's brilliant. It's it's so good. Atmospheric, fantastic. Just please go and read it. Number seven is villain. Which villain would you steal for your book? There's already too much Sherlock Holmes stuff on this, but that's a lot of what I'm reading at the moment. But Moriarty, I think. I don't tend to love villains. I Like, they don't stick in my mind the same way as main characters do or anti-heroes, but... I think Moriarty is a villain who a lot can be done with. He wasn't used to his full effect in the Sherlock Holmes novels. Like, he only appears in The Final Problem. So I feel like that could be really interesting, pitting him up against Mary and Jamie. I think that would be really cool. And lastly is ending. What kind of ending do you like best? Or wrapped up or something else? Give us an example of your favourite ending. I'm going to go with The Night Circus, but there is another book that works for this, but it is in a children's setting, so it doesn't take it as far, and that's Ink Death by Cornelia Funke. So both of these books have endings where it's mostly happily ever after, but it's a little tiny bit bittersweet, which is what I really, really enjoy, which is interesting. I, I love happy endings, I really do, but if I'm making this book, I want it to be a happy ending with a sting in it. Just something that acknowledges the human cost of the story. 
I think is kind of what I'm trying to get at. So those are my answers to the build a book tag. I have a very strange book, I think, but it's also definitely one that I would write. So maybe I will one day. I hope you enjoyed this video. All my social media links in the description box below. If you want to participate in this tag, consider yourself tagged and please go and check out the original video from Literary Diversions. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, like it if you did, and I will see you soon in my next video.